And now guys, on your brand new celebrity update, Bonang Mateba proceeds with a half a million rands lawsuit to Ria Khopani as he's now taking him to court. And now, for more on this story, just stay tuned to this video. And well guys, I think over a month back, it was very famous that Bonang Mateba is going to be suing Ria Khopani for half a million rands after he said that Bonang introduced AKA to drugs and was told by Scoop Makatini. The truth. What is the truth? So Scoop told us, bro. What did he tell us? Because boss, you wanna bring it. told us that AKA <laughs> is on coke and Bonang is the one that got him into cocaine. Scoop told us that, bro. And well, I actually covered the story and I actually presented the letter from Bonang's lawyers. And at the time, it was only just a letter from lawyers and it really means nothing legally. But now, according to Sunday World, Bonang has now secured combined summons against Ria Khopane. And well, basically speaking, a summons is an order to appear before a judge or a magistrate. And well, basically speaking, Ria did apologize after that. He did issue out a statement as well as a video, but he sort of might have landed himself in trouble again. That is because when he apologized, Bonang sort of seemed to have accepted it. She actually did send him love emojis in the comment section and she was like, yo man, we cool. But shortly after that, he then posted on Twitter that it's known in quotation marks, laughing emoji, classic. And Bonang said, my lawyers have seen this. Thank you. Meaning that it seems from that point when he went to Twitter to say that it's known, she then changed her mind about the apology because it seems this guy was not really apologetic. And he might have landed himself in trouble and this time for real because she now has secured combined summons for this guy to appear in court. And while applying my legal opinion on this, will this guy be found guilty of defamation of character? Without a doubt. And while if you watch my videos, you would know that I'm not really a fan of these half a million lawsuits. I think they're ridiculous and the court has never awarded them. Being in the Jacob Zuma case or the EFF case, the court never really awards these ridiculous prices. But that is because 9 times out of 10, it is actually really difficult difficult to prove actual damages. But in celebrities like, for example, Bonang, it might not be that difficult. That is because if, for example, Bonang might have a sort of in negotiation to get a contract in the United States for it to be a present somewhere, and that contract was maybe for about five years and worth about five million, and she lost it because of the rumors, then she can then claim actual damages for that lost contract due to those defamatory statements. But while well, this really comes into play if she really lost some sort of endorsement or sponsorship. But as far as I know, as well as in the letter that she sent from a lawyer, it kind of seems like she didn't really list anything that she lost and so half a million, she probably wouldn't get it, but this guy is most likely going to be found guilty for defamation of character. And that video actually trended. And as a result, I see her actually claiming maybe presumed damages and punitive damages. Presumed damages are just damages that are not really there but are presumed to exist. You don't have to prove them, the court might actually award them. But either way, they're nowhere near 500,000. There's just a few thousands really. As well as punitive damages, the court might really want to just punish the dude a bit just for talking. But really as well, they're just likely to be just a few thousands, nothing above that. But if Wanang really did lose any sort of income because of those defamatory statements, then that dude is really, really, really going to be liable for that. And in my previous video that I made about Bonang suing this dude in the first place, somebody else did comment to say, man, there is no way the court is going to award that because that dude can afford it. And while defamation of character is based off of the damages that the complainant suffered and not what the defendant can afford, whether or not you can afford it is a different conversation. If it can be proven that Bonang lost about half a million, then she will be given the right to collect half a million from Ria, regardless of whether or not he can afford it. That doesn't matter. I guess maybe in those circumstances, there will be an inquiry into his finances and he'll have to pay it back in just portions. And coming to this guy Ria, can he really defend himself? Well, literally speaking, no, unless he actually gets Scoop Magatini to admit that yes, I actually told this dude. And if Scoop decides to say yes, I actually told this dude that yes, Bonang did put AK on drugs, then the lawsuit would then go to Scoop. But the likelihood of that happening, almost zero. And as well, in the previous video that I made about this issue, somebody else did comment say, man, this guy can just easily say that he was not referring to Bonang Mateba, but another Bonang. And well, that is just a dumb move because you don't want to waste the court's time because it might just anger the court even more. 
Bonang's lawyers can just ask a simple question. Which Bonang that Scoop Makatini knows of and was close enough to influence aka to do drugs were you referring to? Obviously, he will fail to answer that question. Actually speaking, this guy had a chance to just apologize and shut the fuck up. He didn't. He actually just continued poking Bonang and these are the consequences. Either way, if there are developments in the story, I will update you guys. In the meantime, leave a comment and I will respond with my own thoughts as well. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up because it actually does help this channel. And please do not forget to subscribe for more updates on your favorite celebrities.